Hey everybody, today I'm doing a review on the Harley Quinn portion of the Gotham Girls collection from Walgreens. Now I'm going to be reviewing all the pieces that are part of Harley Quinn's set and I've also filmed a tutorial on this look which features which I used pretty much all the products that I could from her collection to make this face look. So the first thing we have is her beauty book. The artwork on here, actually artwork on all of the products in this collection feature the original artwork from the late 80s. So before I chew your ear off, let's get to watching this beauty book up. So the first shade I'm showing you guys is Warped Mind. This shade had a spray overlay. Unfortunately, instead of this being a nice, smooth, metallic white shade that would have been a perfect highlight, this is more of a simple white matte shade. The next shade is Madness, and this is a taupey brown shade. Makes a great transitional shade or crease shade. Last up is Trickster, and this shade is just your basic chocolate brown. Wasn't as pigmented as I'd like it to be, though that's prevalent throughout this whole beauty book. The next shade is Craze, and this is a light, cool, toned shade that also works well as a highlight, though um, it has more of a satin finish. The next shade is Clowning Around. Unfortunately, this too has an overlay, and the overlay for this shade is it makes it look like a bright red, whereas it's more of just a plain old it's more of a plain satin red, not very pigmented. The next shade is Mallet. This is a grayed black and it has a little bit of shimmer throughout, though there is a sprayed overlay on this one as well. The next shade is Mayhem and this shade was a little bit crumbly. Good all over shade though because it is a yellow based beige. The next shade is Puddin and this is a darker red shade. And the last shade is Mr. J and in terms of black goes, this was terrible. Overall, the shadows for the beauty book just fell flat. They were the worst of all of the shadows in the beauty books that I've tried for this collection. Then we have the face duo Mad Love and Playful. Both of these shades were crumbly and chalky, way too light for my skin tone. Um, I guess if you're extremely pale, these may work for you. The eyeliner, which is Arkham Asylum Eyeliner Pencil, was a little bit hard to work with. It tugged and it definitely did not allow for too much precision. I'm not sure why this set did not have a liquid lips, liquid eyeliner considering Harley would be more about her eyes. This is also the only set without a primer and these shadows needed a primer. The last, the last product is the Hope of Hopeless Romantic Lip Gloss, and this is in just a Bl Blistex tile container. It was a little bit hard to work with. I definitely use a lip liner underneath. So the book obviously was not my favorite item. Moving on, we have the face product, and this is the Clown Princess Blush, Bronze, and Highlight. As I mentioned in my run through that this product reminded me of a product from the past, I just wanna make a quick comparison before we get into the swatches. So this is Maleficent's Highlight Contour and Bronzer and this is Harley Quinn's. So as you can see, they've got the same style, but Maleficent's was just a little bit darker. So if you have Maleficent's, you can still pick this up and you will not have the same product. This product worked much better on my skin tone at least than the face products in the beauty book itself. The bronzer was smooth, easy to apply. The highlight was very light, almost unnoticeable on my skin tone, but it was a nice way to have a base on your skin before you put like your regular highlight. And then you have your blush, which was a pretty blush shade had a little bit of a shimmer throughout, a golden shimmer throughout. I'm really not sure why they gave her face product because she's more about her eyes and lips. Very confused why this product was associated with her. Next up we have the Mad Love Loose Eyeshadow and just to make a note this is the same exact product as Levithan. I have tested it. They come in the same exact packaging. The only difference is the designs on the outside. They have the same shimmer though if I can recall Levithan was designed for all over the face whereas this whereas Mad Love is designated as just an eyeshadow. Honestly since it's the same exact product, you can use it on all over the face. So here I am swatching and as you can see, it has a definite sparkle and shimmer to it. I feel like if you use this with Fix Plus or another setting product, you can have a really nice white highlight. This product is one of the few products that actually makes sense for the Harley Quinn collection because it's a light shade. Next up, we have the Harley Quinn Tattoo Junkies Lip Paint in the shade Pucker Up. Now I am wearing this today, it's right here, and this is a liquid lipstick with also in top with a topper. Now this topper is a metallic shimmer, it's called the lip effect, but it's pretty much just a shadow. When you wear this, you apply the liquid lipstick, and as you can see on its own, the liquid lipstick applies very well. You can leave it alone just like this if you're looking for a matte red liquid lipstick to wear with your look if you're going for the whole Harley Quinn look, but you can top it with the metallic 
uh, the metallic lip effects and you can get a really nice metallic lip shade. I feel like this works well with uh, Harley Quinn. I feel like this is true to her character. Very easy to apply, doesn't feel heavy on the skin, doesn't feel heavy on the lips. I don't even notice I'm wearing it. It's actually way more comfortable than glitter. So if you've tried their glitters before, this is definitely really comfortable to wear. And it's pretty much true to the picture on the, on the, on the, on the insert. There is one more Harley Quinn lipstick and this is the shade Harley Quinn Red. This is a basic matte red lipstick. So if you're not a fan of the liquid to matte lipstick, this creamy matte lipstick will be perfect. It is the same shade of red, very easy to use. As you can see, no real problems with it, though it does have a decreased wear time. Last up, we have the Harley Quinn brushes. This is the $10 set from Soho. And I did, I did use these to apply my makeup today. And as you can see, they apply it very smoothly, very easy to work with. They have soft, they're soft to the touch. They're definitely high quality. I didn't feel like they were cheaply made. They're definitely worth the 10 bucks. And I love that they feature the car print like they have the diamonds the the hearts the ace the club they have everything on the packaging and they also feature the split design on the actual brushes themselves so overall for Harley Quinn though the beauty book was absolutely garbage unfortunately the other products in this set were quite well performing performed quite well uh, though I didn't understand the inclusion of the highlight contour blush set considering she's got more of just a basic white face the shimmer powder really, the the, sh the shimmer powder really fit that. The brushes fit it. The lipstick products fit it. The only products that seemed out of the only product that really seemed out of place was the contour palette and the shadows that performed poorly in the beauty book. So if you're gonna pick up anything from this collection, I definitely say pick up the shimmer shadow, pick up the brushes for sure, and pick up the lip products because they are fantastic. So guys, did you pick up any of the Harley Quinn products from the Gotham Girls collection? Let me know in the comment section below. And as always guys, thank you so much for watching. Please be sure to follow me on Instagram. I'm Recycled Stardust.